playing the latest video games takes some expensive hardware. The best gaming computers can cost multiple thousands of dollars. And even some of the decent used ones can still be pretty expensive. Not everyone will want to spend that kind of money on gaming, and some people might have a gaming desktop, but they might want to play some games on the go on their laptop that doesn't have a dedicated GPU. In this video, I will focus on games and gaming options that will run smoothly with at least 720p resolution on nearly any mid-range computer 2012 or newer. Keep in mind that some newer dual-core Celeron processors may not run these games as well. For this video, I will be gaming on a ThinkPad X230 tablet with an i5 3320M. While this is a dual core, it does have hyperthreading, which means it has two logical processors for each core. For the games in this video, I suggest running at least a dual core with hyperthreading or a quad core without hyperthreading. And while the maximum RAM for this laptop is 16 gigabytes of RAM, for this video, I have downgraded it to eight gigabytes of RAM. This laptop is from 2012, and even in its time, it was not good for gaming, and many modern games won't run on it. However, the integrated HD 4000 graphics are still good for some lighter games and even a few online multiplayer games that are still played today. In this video, I will also spend some time telling you about these games and gaming options so you can determine if they're for you or not. Minecraft has two main versions, Java and Bedrock. Mojang developed the Java version, while Microsoft developed the Bedrock version. The Bedrock version is better optimized and runs more smoothly on default settings than the Java version. Minecraft can be played both as a single player and multiplayer game. Fallout New Vegas is an open world single player RPG that takes place in a post-apocalyptic wasteland many years after a nuclear war. It has a non-linear storyline that lets you choose what factions you side with and how you will develop your character over the course of the game. There are also many side quests outside the main quest and multiple storylines. This game will run on high graphics settings. However, on this computer, it's smoother on medium. Hitman Blood Money was released in 2006 as a part of a continuing series of Hitman games. In this game, you play as Agent 47, a trained assassin. You need to sneak around and figure out a way to take out the target without getting caught. This game is a great combination of puzzle solving, action and adventure. Robocraft is a free online multiplayer game where you can create your own robot and team up with others to battle against the enemy in a deathmatch. You can upgrade your robot with better parts and make it more powerful. The game also offers optional paid DLCs, but you can enjoy the game without them. Unturned is an online multiplayer zombie survival game with a similar structure to DayZ. Players need to loot buildings and find weapons and other survival gear to survive zombies and other forces of nature. You can also choose to team up with other players you meet along the way or fight them and take their stuff. Spore is a unique game about evolution where you start as a microorganism on a developing planet and work your way up to evolve into a hyper-intelligent being capable of space travel and terraforming planets. As you evolve, you must build your species to be able to survive or just to look bloody hilarious. Even as I become bored of newer games, I still find myself coming back to Spore and having a good time with it. Counter-Strike Go is a great game to play with your mates. Recently, it's been upgraded to have better graphics, which is great if you have a decent GPU. But unfortunately, 
This update has left some older computers unable to play. Even when I turn the graphics all the way down and decrease the resolution to the lowest, I can't even join a match. CSGO 1.6 is just like the new version of CSGO, except it looks buttered. To play, all you need to do is go onto a browser and search for the game, and then you can play remotely in the browser. If you want to play with your mates, you can all join the same server and either team up or pick opposing sides. World of Tanks is a game about tanks. You pick a tank and play Deathmatch or King of the Hill to see which team of tanks wins. You can earn your way to better tanks and unite with other players to fight against other clans. This game does have paid DLCs, however, it's absolutely unnecessary. Yeah, I know it's cringe, but Roblox contains the widest variety of games I've ever seen on one platform. This is because the platform makes it easy to build your own game and host it for free on the site. Pretty much anyone could make their own game if they are willing to put in the effort and learn some coding. You can even invite your mates to collaborate and build the game simultaneously. If you make a successful game with Game Passes, you can even convert your earnings to real money. If you can't play a game on your own computer, why not play it on a much more powerful computer, 1,000 miles away? Cloud gaming does just that by running the game on a server where your controller input is sent to, and then video and sound are sent to your computer in a fraction of a second. There are two game streaming services that I know of, Xbox Cloud Gaming and GeForce Now. I don't have much experience with GeForce Now, but for Xbox Cloud Gaming, if you pay for a Game Pass Ultimate subscription, you can play a wide variety of some of the latest games that in no way can run on this computer otherwise. You don't even have to buy these games, so it's excellent if you want to try out several different games without having to buy them. While this may sound like the perfect gaming solution, it does have its downsides. To run smoothly, you need a consistently fast and stable internet connection. I would recommend at least 100 megabits per second. I would also suggest running it off of Ethernet if you can. But if you can't, I suggest trying out Xbox Cloud Gaming by playing Fortnite, which is the only game on that platform that is free to play. Also to play, you do need to have a controller connected to your computer and press a button for it to be recognized. Even in ideal conditions, Games can sometimes have input lag or grainy video due to factors beyond your control, such as high server traffic, which makes you have to wait a few minutes for them to find server space to play on. Often, the quality of gameplay is inconsistent, with some games running perfectly smooth while others run poorly. For example, a week ago, GTA 5 was running poorly, but right now, it's running smoothly. As you can see, gaming on an older computer that is not meant to game can still be pretty capable if you pick the right games and have lower expectations. If you are unfamiliar with gaming and want to give it a go before deciding if it's worth spending a lot of money on, it just makes sense to start with less demanding games on a computer you already have. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.